got a bunch of water protectors out here demonstrating on a public roadway. And the police who are paid to protect and serve us are shooting tear gas and flashbang grenades and shooting a cannon of mace at all of us. Those who don't clear out have shields and they're shooting those people with, with rubber bullets right now. Shit. Where were you when you got shot? Right up here. I was standing there like this. Standing there like this. And they sprayed the mace. They're spraying out the bear mace. They're spraying that out. I was standing there like this. Spraying on me. I just go like this. Keep it out of my eyes. And then they, uh, I think they started throwing in the tear gas. And then like some noise went off. Really loud. And then they just shot me. Felt like a little bean bag. Oh, that's the bullet? Yeah. I got shot right in the chest. How do you feel? Well, I'm back. <laughs> I mean, I uh, they took me down to the medic tent, but I came back, you know? It's, people still need help here. I came up and people were, uh, people were coming up, yelling for the medic, and they were just throwing up. We drink it every day. If the pipeline burns, it will affect the drinking water of 17 million people in the United States. Hey, come on, look at Flint, Michigan. To this day, they don't have clean water. I don't know what that was that they fired into the crowd. It, it looked like some kind of flare, but we saw them also uh, firing things into the air that were tear gas as well. So this is the first time that I've been exposed to any of this. The police are continually uh, using the freezing cold water to spray these brave water protectors and it is the most inhumane thing that I have seen. Um, it's actually hard to believe that this is the United States of America. peaceful water protectors that are standing for the rights of everybody, not just indigenous peoples, but everybody who drinks water, who every generation, and it's cold, it's freezing, and the police have chosen to this time to hose us all down with water cannons and have been throwing flash grenades and uh, uh, it appears to be uh, uh, tear gas into a crowd of unarmed people. It's amazing everyone just comes together as a family during actions and jumps in wherever they're needed so People need water if they're getting mace, milk, and magnesium. Um, they're getting sprayed with water today. It's very cold. People are going to have hypothermia, so blankets and hot coffee and tea. And people are getting people transported over to medical. Um, it's really amazing. I was over the very front holding a tarp up, and I was walking away because they were firing rubber bullets, which in this cold air are extremely hard projectiles. They hurt quite a bit, but if you hit you in the leg, it can walk it off. They hit a girl straight in the head, and she went down immediately. Um, she screamed. People picked her up, and they hauled her back, carrying her completely, because um, getting hit in the head with those things is just incredibly um, dangerous, really.